What's up guys, Old School Dan here. I'm an old school bodybuilding coach and enthusiast. What I do is I help you achieve that classic physique look and provide you with the various facts of the old school bodybuilding era. In this video, I'm gonna give you three posing tips from Larry Scott. Tip number one is that choose poses that fits your physique. Um, Larry Scott says that he's seen a lot of beginners um, try to copy, you know, poses like Bill Pearl or Steve Reeves, and they look terrible, awful. The reason they they just look terrible in those poses is because they don't have the same body type. You see, I feel like I have the ectomorph I have the ectomorph body type, and Frank Zane has an ectomorph body type. Vince Gironda has an ectomorph body type. You know, they're just kind of like relatively small. You know. Um, you know, thin bones, um, thin muscular structure, but you know, muscular. And someone like Arnold has, you know, a big body, or someone like Bill Pearl has a big body, Chris Dickerson, big body. If I try to copy poses like them, it wouldn't really work out. That's why I try to copy poses from like Vince Gerana, Frank Zane, you know, guys that I feel like have a similar muscle um, structure. But it, let's just say you have a thicker, you know, more Herculean physique, you know, dense. You can copy, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Chris Diggerson, Frank Colombo, maybe guys like that. All right, so moving on to tip number two. Tip number two, if you've ever wondered how many poses you should have in a posing routine, Larry Scott says it's eight. Well, the thing is, when you're a beginner, so you want to develop a new posing routine or just like you've never really posed before, well, if you want to develop a routine, it's eight poses, nothing more than that. Once you become more proficient in posing and you, you see more development in your body, then you can start adding in more poses. You can see like someone like Arnold, the poses he did when he was younger, they were limited. But as he showed more development development in his body, yes, he added way more poses than he did before. And this makes a lot of sense because let's just say, you know, your back isn't developed, so you can't hit, you know, a back pose like Arnold. But let's just say in a year or two or in a couple of years, you get a thick back, like it's a muscular back. Then that is when you can start adding to that pose. This is what I mean. Like with any body part you have, once you become more developed, then you can start adding more poses. Don't get discouraged just because you know, you're know you skinny now or you don't have any mass in that body part right now. That's okay. In a couple of years, you'll be able to hit that pose. Moving on to tip number three. Larry Scott says the secret to posing is to be able to flex all your muscles, to contract all your muscles at the same time without showing any you know signs of strain of visibility on your face. What I mean by this is that you know you see a lot of the bodybuilders from the old age, you know, Arnold, Larry Scott, when they would pose, it was just so elegant. It was like flowing and you wouldn't see any like eh, on their face ah, on their face it was like you know like like a statue like the statue of david that's kind of wrong with you know posing nowadays you know and the smiling's okay but the, the thing they do in bodybuilding is what they do the, the weird face it doesn't look very nice so i said i was only going to give you three tits but you know what i'm gonna do it i always over deliver i just, have to do it. All right, tip number four. Tip number four, how to master a pose. So Larry Scott says the first thing you do is get into the pose that you want to perfect. Get into that pose and don't even flex anything. Just stay in that pose, stay in, I'm sorry, excuse me. Stay in that pose, relaxed. After you have the position of your feet and your arms correctly, then flex. You want to get the feeling of poses before you start flexing that the muscle that you really want to, you know, accentuate. You know, because every pose that you do, you know, every pose that every bodybuilder has ever done is to accentuate one body part or, you know, more. Like Tom Platts would do poses that would accentuate his legs, of course. Steve Reeves, you know, would do ones that um, accentuate his lats, Arnold, his back. You know, Larry Scott and his biceps. You see, every pose has that particular thing that just they want to accentuate and make more noticeable is what I mean. Like I said, back to the thing about mastering the pose. You want to start by tensing the legs, the abs, the chest, and then the arms. And then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But he also says, do not try to flex at your maximum effort on the first attempt at this pose. Once you feel you have the muscles under control, then you can start tensing the muscles more and more. Rinse and repeat this whole method and you should be able to master the pose. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dan. Check it out. Peace.